Hello everybody and welcome to a um, different sort of video this time. Uh, I'm actually going to be looking at a game called uh, Alpha Kamori. I believe that's how it's pronounced. Uh, it's a sort of old styly type RPG. And uh, I've actually just downloaded the, the demo for it. Seems to be like an old um, style, sort of anime type. Oops, that sounds a bit like Scientology now. Kamor. Who is Kamor? Who is Kamor? Kind of like Kamor. Um, and what I've done is I just downloaded the, uh, the demo for it. Um, demo trial, which gives you 30 minutes, so I thought we'd have 30 minutes to try out this uh, <coughs> demo. It's a little bit loud now, so I'll turn it down. Uh, there, that's better. Right. And quite spacey, sci fi type. As well. Another nice thing, looks like it's been somewhat made with RPG Maker. <laughs> it's probably not, but I'm just saying. Uh, it could have been fairly easily. But well, it does look very nicely done from what I can see so far. I'm guessing these are the ones that, that we play then. Yes. Rick Brightheart. Oh, he's got similar hair to mine, so that's good. Oh, it's all peaceful with the random demon bird there. Uh, I should say this is the first episode of two that they have released so far. Uh, there is a third one uh, to come as well. And they are fifteen dollars each. Um. <laughs> Which obviously is ten around about ten pounds per episode. Uh, this first episode will last for about five hours, and the second episode is about a seven hour episode. Um. <clears throat> it's not actually available on Steam as of yet. Uh, it is Steam, a Steam Greenlight game at the moment. Uh, I did vote it up before I even downloaded the trial, so I hope that it's uh, been worthwhile. Yeah. And I'd say it's looking quite good at the moment. I'm not really sure you need these guys for a couple of rabid birds, but never mind. Still. Uh, I tell you, I'm not really into like uh, robotic sci fi type games, but. Uh, um, it was the battle system, really, that got me most intrigued. So. That would probably be the reason uh, why I will, I will enjoy it, I suppose. Fighting's never a good start to a story, but never mind. <laughs> mm. Ah, here we go. So I've been looking forward to uh, the first look at the gameplay, right? 
the Kai skills. Coachman, no, Jesus Kai skills. When Kai has been reduced to zero. Right, so it's like magic points then. That's alright, I suppose. Um, right, okay. So, what Kai skills does he have? Uh, okay, let's use that on him. And she, what does she have? Metal heal. Not quite sure we need that. She can just attack. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, that was quite a nice animation that came up there. I have to say, um, it's definitely got several over on my game already just with that. But um, no, it does look very nice. I like all the, I like how the graphics are set out as well. I have to say. Uh, it all looks very nice as well, and the music feels quite topical. Um, I'd like to see there. I'd like there to be a victory screen, though. I have to say, if I'm honest. So we're assuming that this guy is very powerful then. And uh I have to say it is a bit of a shame we're not more into a uh, robot y style gameplay, but never mind. Um <clears throat> as you may not may or may or may not have gathered by my previous comments, uh this video will approximately be about uh thirty minutes long because I'm planning to play it to the end of the trial, whenever that is. And I have to say, so far I'm very impressed with this game. Um, obviously my natural reaction is to compare it to Final Fantasy, I'm trying my best not to. Um, but I keep seeing lots of uh, similarities uh, in it. Although this is uh, looking a bit more like Pokemon now. But uh, so. Can I actually use the mouse to walk around? Oh, I can do. That's pretty good. hold it down or do I just click where I want to go? Uh, I just have to click where I want to go so that's I'm quite liking that as well um, <laughs> so the controls are nice and easy you can literally just use your mouse and click but I'm not sure what oh and the other buttons bring up the menu as well Ooh, there's uh, quite a lot on that on there never mind uh, so let's talk to this guy oh okay oh well thanks Right, so Phoenix Downs then, basically. Um, it's starting to feel a little bit like Final Fantasy VIII. Uh, and the Academy being the Garden instead, or the Garden being the Academy instead. Uh, Um, so my plan, oh, I don't know. So my plan really was to um, do as much of the main story as possible in half an hour, but I do want to explore as well. So I'm going to go and find the shop. Oh, or am I? <laughs> don't even know. I'd say I'm really, I really do like the uh, uh, the graphics. They've definitely been set out quite well. There's also nice little features as well. Uh, and also I'm liking how there's a good uh, sort of like map view of the um, of the city as well. Which is quite good. Uh, let's test out these NPCs here. Mm. 
And NPCs to give you useful tips as well of where to go, so... That's useful. Ooh. Item shop. Ha! Ah, see, I knew we could get into the item shop. What have we got here? Will you tell me to buy one of these? Right. Well, there we go. That was easy enough. Very impolite shopkeeper, they didn't even say anything to me. I don't like to make complaints about the game, but I'd actually quite like to see this in a more medieval setting than big robots, but that's just obviously what I prefer, and I also don't like um, the bloody characters following me around either. That annoys me. <laughs> I'm not really, it sounds like I'm complaining, I'm not really trying to complain. <laughs> right, so is this like treasure chests? Treasure chests or something? Bunny rabbit. Ah, bunny rabbits are random battles. That's oh, it's because it's rabbit. I see. Makes it fine then. Sure, I'm actually meant to be doing. Was that because I wasn't paying too much? Obviously, because I wasn't paying enough attention. Um, although I can't see where else to go, if I'm honest. I'm probably going the right way. I would have thought. Um. Ooh, nice. I'd say I do have always preferred. Um, these sort of battles than anything else. I also like them as well, they're quite good. I just don't know whether... I can't work out whether that's what's always going to happen before every skill or attack. Um, to be quite honest, if they were actually varied as well. Out of the way, rabid rabbit. To the great forest. I don't know if that's where I'm supposed to be going. Explore. Hmm. No, I don't think I'm meant to be going that way. It looks obviously blocked off as well. I would have said. So we won't do that. Um, but I have to say it's the first game I found um, really outside of uh, sort of uh, obvious RPG maker games that I actually do really like the look of and I have to say this game is, is very impressive for many different reasons. Um, I'm just have to see if it carries on in the same in the same vein or not. Um, Interactive uh, flashback. It's interesting.
<laughs> well, that's uh, useful. See already a possible interesting story developing uh, from that, which I do like the sound of. I have to say. Just our main guy now. Can he not get into battles because he doesn't know? <laughs> well, now all of a sudden there's two of them. Oh yeah, because that's fair. <laughs> uh, typical. God sword. Oh, well, uh. That made that slightly easier. Um, um, I can see obviously a possible conflict between um, this guy and his uh, upbringing of uh, kite crystals and what have you, and and it all are originating from the uh, from that lady who might have an impact on his relationship with his girlfriend, I don't know. Just throw that out there. I might be wrong, because I'm sure some of you may indeed have already played the game and therefore already aware of aware of how the story goes. Whereas, of course, I'm not, so I'm literally just guessing. Hmm. I don't always find it so difficult to kill these birds. They uh, seem to struggle a bit at the in the beginning. No, well, and there were some those big robot things as well. I'm sure they must be more powerful than, uh, than the mouse side of them. Surely. Uh, level up restores. All health and stuff, which is good. Makes things slightly uh, fairer, I would have said, because I was just about to say it's a bit uh, difficult when you've only got crystals that only increase, only uh, heal 10% of your health. Especially now I'm fighting two enemies of only one guy, which is uh, a bit unfair, I would have said. I wonder if the uh, journals change now so I can actually see what I'm supposed to be doing. Unless I'm still meant to be exploring, of course. Oh, I have to go and find Vanessa. Mm. Uh, ah, damn it. Another battle. Uh, I can actually see how long I've been recording for now, so I know that I have a little under 10 minutes of this uh, game remaining. Uh, remaining? Remaining, that's what I mean, sir. Um, I actually have quite, I have quite enjoyed it, you know. Um, and I was thinking before that uh, $15 or just over 10 quid was too much for the game. I just still do think it is, uh, I'm afraid to say. <laughs> Uh, especially seeing as it's put into episodes. If it was 15 for three, for the three episodes, and it was a 20-hour game, I, I'd find it extremely difficult to turn that down. Obviously, um, it seems like far more, uh, far much more of a fair price for the actual for the game. Um, but if all parts are going to be 15, that make it 45 dollars for, uh, for three parts, for 20 for 20 hours. Not 20 hours of gameplay, is it? Uh, well, it might be. You never know what the third episode, how long the third episode is going to be. Um, I don't know. 
but for me it just that just doesn't seem uh, it seems too expensive for the amount of hours I'd get out of it. Uh, but nevertheless, I do like it, and I do hope it does get on Steam as well. Actually, I have to say, um, because then I can get it in a sale. <laughs> Is the uh, most honest way for me to put it down. I mean, I wouldn't buy it as soon as it came out. That's for sure. Um, although I'm. I'm glad that a game like this does exist, and as I say, I would buy it. Uh, just not for the the price on their website, I'm afraid. But no, I'd recommend uh, everyone to uh, go on green light and obviously vote it up. Because... I mean, if for no other reason um, than the fact that, well, for me, I want to see more games like this, um, then that's just what you, that's basically what you've got to do at the minute. Um, and hopefully, you know, if a game like this can succeed nowadays, uh, we can obviously see hope, hope to see more games like this in the future. Um, you know, with different styles of graphics and. Uh, in different eras or different stylistic features anyway um, but no I mean I can't really have too many complaints about it, the only complaints I have about it is um, just how I feel towards the uh, sort of well just the stylistic features that it's gone for that I don't that aren't my preference. <laughs> there you go. The way I can put it. Um, that I don't like. Uh, but apart from that, I, I mean, even with that, I obviously am, would still gladly play it. I'm actually quite enjoying playing it now. So and I just hope Vanessa's not somewhere in this random wilderness, because uh, I would assume that she'd. But then she said she'd carry on training. So does that mean she is somewhere out there? Ugh. Oh, I don't know now. Uh, have a feeling that she might actually be. Um, I can say I should say that you can actually download the demo off the off their website as well for episodes one and two. So I think I believe that the um, the second part as well should be on there for you to try. Uh, so. Um, which I would have thought would give you half an hour as well on that, um, but I not oh, this But I won't be trying that out. Um, mainly because I'm hoping this gets on Steam and then I can get it on a sale and then complete the first episode before I try the second one. Uh, oh, great! She's back now. I also mentioned, obviously, that I do like the music. It is, it is, it's quite good. It's fitting for the, for the game. And the random rabbit enemies have just run off. To be fair, uh, we did kill quite a lot of enemies there, actually. See, it's also turned to night as well, I think. Unless that's just me being wrong. Hmm. Hmm. So I'm guessing these guys are going to end up being the bad guys. But I hope there's another twist in it as well, that it twists back the other way. Um, so let's see if I can... 
uh, see what the results are of this thing before the time runs out. We'll have to see. Uh, just to the left. Oh, have I got it wrong? I don't know. Who are these people here? <clears throat> oh. Arena. This looks more like a uh, a classroom than anything. Ah, but we do have a treasure chest, so that's good. Uh, I like how they've made the. I mean, even if this area is not where I'm supposed to go, it's nice that they've put in little little hidden sort of treasure chests there. Uh, Any problem I have, I hope this, uh, <laughs> that the story that I, how the story, how I think it's going to go, isn't going to go that way, <laughs> if that makes sense. So I don't want it to turn out too obvious, um, but we'll have to see. <coughs> the dog's just run off. <laughs> oh, it's a cat. Right. random lady following us as well. Um, I think that's probably coming up to the end of the demo now, uh, or extremely very shortly. Um, so, conclusion time. Uh, well, I think I pretty much said it all before, I really like it. Um, you know, I do also like the battle style as well, I've uh, missed that for, for quite a long time, I haven't seen a new game really be bold enough to try and um, to try it out oh and there we go that's obviously half an hour up so as you can see there's a random picture of my wallpaper now uh, I'll just quickly show you the or a little bit of the of the website before I go uh, as you can see there it's saying uh, about the episodes what the average of them are and uh, we also have the price as well. Um, so anyway, it's definitely worth, and there's obviously system requirements, so I'll leave it over there. <coughs> uh, so we, yes, as I say, uh, it's a very good game. Uh, from what I played of it so far, at least the first half an hour, it definitely seems like something uh, worth getting. Um, not for the price, I think I still think the price is too high. Um, but in conclusion, I'm going to give it a I'm going to give it a seven and a half out of ten, which is one of the highest I've given. <laughs> so, I think that shows uh, how good it is. Obviously, I can't really give. I don't really like. I can't really give a proper cast iron review until I played all the way through. Um, but from my experience so far, it's really good. Definitely worth getting when it comes out at a better price, hopefully on Steam. And as always, I'll put the link to the uh, green light page in the description. I'll also put the link to the website where I downloaded the trial from as well. 
Uh, so if you're interested, give it a go. You might like it as well. You can just play through what I have <laughs> by yourself. Um, and maybe do a bit more exploring if that's what you want to do, rather than follow the main uh, story like me. Uh, but thank you very much for watching, and uh, goodbye.